hello everyone welcome again to my youtube channel in this video we are going to look at uh, uh, the concept of addition and subtraction of numbers in standard form you remember we've been looking at standard form and we've seen the basic operations in standard form so we saw we saw a uh, multiplication and division here and then so in this lesson we want to see how to do addition and subtractions and afterwards we will see a combination or mixture of some of the the basic operations right so remember when we talk about basic operations we basically are looking at the addition subtraction multiplication and division now that the approach of uh, you know adding or subtracting numbers in standard form is a little bit different from that of multiplication and division that's why i decided that we look at it here right so what do you do here they are asking us to do this and leave our answers in standard form so for this now you are going to be basically applying what we call factorization for instance if i have a b which means a times b plus maybe b c which means b times c so what all I, I can do here now is to factorize there is a common thing here and here b is here b is here i bring it out so if b divides a b i will have a left plus if b divides b c i will have b le uh, c left so this is called factorization we'll still look at it later all right that's exactly what we are going to do here now but now the question is do i have any common term here these two are multiplying just like a and b these two are multiplying just like b and c now do i have anything common that i can factorize here no number is it possible to get common terms yes and we can do that using the simplification of um, you know uh, standard forms that we have been doing for instance i can make this to become a, a base 10 or i can change this to be in base 4 so i'm sorry i can make this to be in power 5 and i can make this to be in power for anyone so but let us choose this maybe we want to make this now to be in power 5 so that they can be common terms in the two so all i am going to have now is and for this to be in power 5 that means i'm going to add one I remember I said if you want to add, you move the decimal point backwards. If you want to subtract, you move the decimal point forward. That means if I want to reduce this to power 4, all I need to do is to move this decimal point forward. So, but I want to change this to power 5. So, I'll move this decimal point backward. And when it goes backward, you are going to have that your decimal point is now here. So, you have 0 point, sorry. So, you now have point two three seven of course you cover it with zero here now is now multiplying 10 now instead of four i am now going to have four plus one which is five and that is plus this one remains the same okay so i'll have times 10 raised to the power of five so what am i going to do here now now all i will do here is now to factorize so i have 10 to power 5 here i have 10 to power 5 so I am just going to add these two and then bring out 10 to power 5. So I'm going to now have 0 0.237 plus 7.72. And then outside it, I will now have times 10 raised to power 5. So I have factorized. I remember here, you can also put this B behind. That means you can write this as the A plus A, uh, C all multiplied by b you can actually write this this way or this way they are the same so i'm actually writing my 10 that's times 10 raised to the power 5 behind you can also stay in front nothing uh, uh different okay so finally all i will do is to add these two and then multiply and if there is need to change anything we will know so let's add now so if we add this we are going to have of course, 7 is alone. I'll bring it down. 3 plus 2 will give us 5. Then 2 plus 7 will give us 9. You can do this using a calculator. And 0 plus 7 will give us 7. And that is times 10 to the power of 5. Of course, this has satisfied the standard form uh, uh, format. is less than 10, greater than 1, or equal to 1. So 
this is then our solution to this right so then we go to example two so here we are asked to do the same thing so the power here is minus two the power here is plus uh, sorry minus three so let me in this case i moved backward and uh, the same thing here if i move backward here i will also so sorry if i move backward here i will add one and that will further reduce this so in other words i need to move forward to be able to subtract one you know that if i say minus two minus one that's what will give me minus three and it will be equal to this so let me do that so if i move this forward so my decimal point will now be here then i will subtract one from this so this is now going to be 58.5 multiplied by 10 now this is now going to be minus 2 minus 1 which is going to be minus 3 and that is plus here you will still have your 3.14 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 so what can we do here now okay so what we can do here now is to now add what we have here just as what we did here if I now add, I'm going to have, of course, whole number plus whole number is going to give us 61. Then point, uh, the tenth place will add, which is 5 plus 1. That is 6. There is nothing in the 100 place here. So 0 plus 4 will give us 4. And that will be times 10 raised to the power of 3. You choose one of the common terms. And so remember, this is not in the form you want. So you are going to reduce it. So I'll move this decimal point backwards. So when it comes backwards, I have 6.164 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3. Now, because I moved this backwards, remember when you move backward, you add. And I moved only once. So that is 6.164 times 10 raised to the power of minus 2. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. That is to say that it would have been the same as moving here backward if you move backward reduce this to minus two so you would have just added 5.85 plus 0 0.314 and that would have also given us this so and that is how to handle addition and subtraction you look for common terms factorize it add the other ones or subtract if it is subtraction so let's look at this in this case we'll have subtraction so for subtraction now all you need to do the same thing uh, we are going to look for a way to make this the same power. So uh, remember, if I move forward, I will subtract. If I move backward, I will add. And that's backward I want us to move. If we move forward here and reduce this, this will become 82, which is not in standard form. So it's rather we move backward here. So if I move backward here, and then I will add 1 here. So that is going to give us 8.2. Then... Uh, minus this will now become 0 0.81 and you put it in your bracket times here you will now have just have 10 raised to the power of 5 because here will be 5 also okay so and then we now subtract this remember that we can always do this using our normal table or, or form of uh, 100 tens and unit and all of that in doing our subtraction which is 81 here so 0 minus 1 cannot go. I'll carry 1 here. Put here it will be 10. So I'll have 9. There is 1 remaining here. I'll borrow 1 here. That's 11. So I'll get 3. And this is 7. And you can quickly just do this with your calculator because of time. So you have times 10 raised to power 5. And that's our solution to this. So what about the second example? Here we have that... Uh, the power here is 2, the power here is 3. So if I move backward here also, I will increase this. And if I move forward here, I will reduce this. So it's also good we move backward. So if we move backward here, we are going to have, let me first of all write it again. Okay, so this is the same. So here I'm moving backward. So I'm going to now have 0 0.72 multiplied by 10 now because i moved backward i will add one here and that will give me three so at this point i can now factorize by first of all bringing out what i'm subtracting which is 1.55 minus 0 
and that is multiplied by now i'll choose one of these 10 raised to the power of 3 and so when i do this subtraction i'm going to get 3 here and this is 15 i will get uh, 5 here so i will then have 0 minus sorry not 5 15 minus 7 is 8 okay and then 0 minus 0 will now give me 0 and that is times 10 raised to the power of 3 and this is not in standard form yet so we move this one forward again and we will now get 8.3 and because we moved it forward we will then remove one from this and that will give us two so our answer is 8.3 times 10 to the power of two and then these examples involve uh, you know mixture of different uh, 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 basic operations basically multiplication and division so i am going to take uh, one of these and you will take one as an exercise maybe this one so let's look at this what is this going to give us simply what we have done multiply these two remember in multiplication you simply multiply the a part and then also multiply the power part so let's try to multiply here so here we are going to have 3.8 times multiplying 5.6 and that is giving us 21.28 and then times our 10 so we are multiplying this by this so that's addition minus 4 plus 6 and that is over we still have 2.6 times 10 raised to the power of 8 and we know that minus 4 plus 6 is actually 2 so let's just write 2 here and so now we now have division so this 21.28 will be divided by 2.6 so we'll have divided 21.28 divided by 2.6 and that is giving us 8 point one eight approximately to two decimal places then multiply by 10 raised to the power of 2 minus 8 because this is division and so finally our answer is 8.18 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 2 minus 8 is equal to negative 6 and that's our solution there i would like you to do this one and let me have your solution in the comment section let's look at the example seven okay so our example seven here we are told that uh, we should do this just like what i just did earlier on this is simply a combination of multiplication and division so you only have one one so you just divide 8.8 .8 by 4.4 and then multiply by 10 raised to the power of 10 divided by 7 which is minus 7 and quickly we are going to have of course this divide by this is 2 times 10 raised to power 3 and that's just our answer here now what do we do in this case here we are told that x is this and that y is this and z is this we should find x y all over z what does that mean we should just multiply x which is 2.5 times 10 to the power of 4 by our y which is 9.8 times 10 to the power of 6 all over our z which is 1.2 times 10 to the power of 9 so all we need to do now is just to multiply our what we have like we have done so we multiply a here which is 2.5 by a here which is 9.8 multiply by 9.8 and that is giving us 24.5. So, and that is times 10. Now you are multiplying 10 raised to the power 4 by 10 raised to the power 6, which will just be addition. 4 plus 6, which is 10. All over here we have 1.2 times 10 raised to the power of 9. And that is going to give us 24 will be divided by 1.2. Sorry, 24.5 will be divided by 1.2 and that is giving us 20.41 approximately sorry 42 approximately multiply by 10 raised to the power of 10 and you are dividing by 10 to the power of 9 so you just subtract and so when you do that we are going to now have 20.42 uh, 
times 10 to the power of 1. However, we'll put this in index uh, standard form by reducing this to a number that is less than 10 and greater than 1 or greater or equal to 1. So this is going to now be 2.042 times 10. And because we moved backwards, we are going to add 1 here. And that's going to give us 2, which is the solution to this problem. And of course, this is where we'll end it for this video. Recall that all we did here was uh, basic operations, basically addition and subtraction, and then a combination of multiplication and division. You can also have the combination of addition, multiplication, division, and all of that. So you just follow your board math, which is um, bracket first of division, multiplication, addition, and then subtraction, just as we did here. Uh, and that would give you your solution. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share our videos. You can always reach out to us, you can ask questions. Please comment. Let's see how where you are watching us from and whether you are following us. And if you have any questions, you can always raise them in the comment section. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.